I think especially when you come into law school um, and for anyone applying, I guess, it's, it's so easy to just have no idea what it is you want to do. And that's a completely OK. I still don't really know what I want to do. And that's a totally fine. And so I think that having a, having a school that really focuses on some of these things, and we've really, just, we've really noticed, as you said, in the last couple of years, just we've really seen an amazing array of programs. We have some, um, we, we just hired somebody, I think, who's a, who does all pro bono and is really pushing us to do, get involved with pro bono activities. We have a pro bono service award, which is kind of fun. We have, we can get a certificate on our diploma. We have Susan Curry, who's incredible and does, and is in career service and does all pro bono stuff. And I think what's important about that is that it really instills in us early that this is something, whether we make a career out of it or whether we do it on the side as a, in big laws, our pro bono hours, that this is something that is, as important to your big law career or your public interest career as anything else. And so I think that, you know, sort of beyond just the clinics, I think the school gives us sort of myriad opportunities to get involved in pro bono. We, um, I know there's, and then, you know, the sort of ranges from student groups, Neighbors does a lot of um, community service with students, um, ACS, BALSA, FEDSOC, I think all have, of, um, have different programs where we mentor younger students. Um, and there's just there's so many opportunities to, you know to get involved and the school really makes it really makes it a priority and i think that that's something that i found very very important that i might not necessarily thought about going in